Hello guys, my name is Tom Antos and in this video I wanted to show you a cool do-it-yourself uh, video camera rig that's gonna turn any DSLR or DSLM type of camera into a proper production video camera. So when I set out to do this project uh, I kind of wanted to prove to myself and, and in a way to show you guys in the process uh, that you can actually take one of these small uh, and affordable uh, still photo cameras, in this case I have the Sony a6500, uh, and turn it into a proper production video camera. I also wanted to be able to overcome a lot of the key shortcomings that these smaller cameras have. And I wanted to be able to do all of this uh, on a relatively small budget. So uh, the rig that I built up here uh, is gonna cost you around $200, give and take, uh, it might be a little bit less or more, depending on when you buy the pieces but also where you are because you know depending on where you live you might have higher or lower taxes so for me there's a few problems that i find with these smaller cameras whether it's the a6300 or a6500 a sony a7s2 that kind of stuff uh, the these cameras have a few shortcomings to, uh, and don't really allow you to properly work with them like 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 you would with like a a professional you know video camera uh, number one thing is the audio so uh, these cameras do not have any professional audio connections uh, and they also don't you know not all of them allow you to even connect headphones to be able to monitor audio which is crucial when you're doing uh, for example with a rig like this where as you can see I have a kind of a shoulder rig built up uh, let's say if I wanted to use it for like a live event coverage or you know um, uh, doing interviews things like that on the go and you need to be able to uh, set your levels properly and hear exactly what it is that, that you're actually recording. And another thing I wanted to uh, overcome is the really bad battery life uh, within this camera especially, uh, because these cameras use these tiny little batteries that are pretty much gonna run out uh, between you know every half hour or 40 minutes. And another thing I wanted to overcome is just the ergonomics of the cameras. These small cameras are great when you just wanna run and gun and just use them you know on their own, but if you want to have a proper production rig, in this case I have uh, my Ninja Inferno uh, monitor slash recorder. Let's see if you want to record to a better codec. Uh, I also will have a light here built in. I even have a, a professional video microphone up here uh, with the XLR connection. Uh, and then here, as you can see, I have a handle, I have a pro, you know, nice comfortable shoulder rig. So let's say if you want to actually use this camera like that, maybe you even want to use bigger lenses on it. Uh, which require, let's say, uh, lens support, or maybe you ha you're using uh, cinema lenses uh, that have, you know, that require you to connect a uh, follow focus to actually pull the focus. All that kind of stuff, uh, you cannot basically do that with those cameras right out of the box. So you need to actually build it up so you can attach all these things uh, to your camera. Now, this rig is also gonna work with other cameras, like for example, uh, the Panasonic GH4. Uh, so it's not meant just for the Sony cameras, but in this case, that's what I'm using uh, as an example. So the first thing uh, I started with is uh, the cage. So the cage that I got is from Viltrax, uh, and it's a decent cage. What I mean by that is that it's not perfect, but what I like about it is that it has a lot of attachment points. Uh, has a nice top handle up here so you can uh, use that to actually carry your whole rig uh, comfortably and you can see everything kind of attaches securely to it also it has two hatch mounts uh, one on the handle and one here on the side uh, and that allows you to attach accessories like in this case i have the um, the light up here attached and i also have my microphone on the side here it even has a cable pinch uh, so it allows you to uh, for example attach the micro hdmi to a full hdmi uh, cable which as you know micro HDMI cables are very flimsy they tend to move or go loose on you a lot of times uh, so this way you can pinch it make sure that it never moves uh, and you never lose uh, signal with your monitor it also the cage allows you easy access to the battery compartment on the bottom and you know it even comes with rails so that means that you can attach other accessories such as for example uh, a handle here or a shoulder pad overall it's a nice cage very well built looks professional all that stuff only thing I don't like about it is the rods that it actually comes with. Uh, in this case, I'm using this rod here for the shoulder, but this longer one here, uh, I actually end up getting uh, separately. And the reason is because the rods, first of all, that they supply are very short. Uh, and also they seem to be just a tiny bit too uh, thin, or at least the ones that I got. So that means that doesn't matter how hard I try to tighten them, they would always kind of rotate and, and go loose after a while. Uh, so uh, I'm going to again provide a link for all the stuff, including the extra uh, rails that I got that, uh, that I would recommend that you get. So once you get the cage uh, and like I said, the rails, 
Uh, next thing I would probably recommend getting is uh, some kind of a handle. This is a cheap one that I found. This handle is going to allow you to basically, you know, put the camera like this and you can actually use it already as a shoulder uh, kind of a, uh, you know, rig without this shoulder pad. Uh, this shoulder pad is a nice one. It's going to cost you a little bit more money. So it's definitely going to go over the $200 budget that I mentioned. But like I said, even without it, you can just rest the rails here on your shoulder and especially with a lighter camera like this, it's not gonna and it's not gonna be painful or hard to use. Uh, but like I said, if you want to get something even nicer, then later on, once you have this rig, you can slowly add other accessories, such as a, a nice shoulder pad. So once you have the actual uh, cage, like I said, and you have the camera in there, then it allows you to attach all these nice accessories. One uh, definite accessory I would recommend uh, if you're gonna be using an external monitor is a proper magic arm to kind of connect it, uh, the the monitor to your uh, whole rig. In this case, I'm using the lens part as their new magic arm that they have. It's a friction-based arm. It allows you to adjust the angle, uh, even though it stays nice and sturdy. So with one arm here, I can actually detach the monitor. Uh, if I want to, let's see, make the rig smaller. And the same thing if I want to put it back on and attach it to my rig. Uh, another thing you can attach, uh, let's see, if you're doing interviews, kind of running and gunning, and you're not sure what setting you might be in, maybe it's a little too dark, uh, definitely come, you know, it's going to be handy if you have a nice... Uh, Kind of a little portable uh, led light uh, and, uh, and you know there's various led lights out there again i'm gonna list a few that i recommend and the cool thing about this uh, cage is that it, uh, the handle has a hatch mount so it lets me uh, to attach the the light nice and high but in the center basically with the lens so this way you'll get the the nicest even kind of uh, lighting on the on your subject's face uh, definitely if you're going to be getting uh different let's say interviews and things like that then you want to get proper audio in this case i have this really cool mic from asden it's actually like a pro xlr uh you know video microphone that you can use on, on any pro camera but in the case of my my rig here it attaches nicely here to the second hatch mount that's on the on the right side here of the cage uh, and that again is going to provide nice clear uh, you know really just good quality audio especially when you compare it to the audio uh, you know from basically with the built-in microphone with these little cameras now if you're going to use a pro microphone like this that has xlr connections or let's say a wireless lav for example microphone or any other microphone really uh, that has pro xlr connections then you're definitely going to need a way to attach that microphone to your camera and as you know uh, all of these uh, small DSLM type of cameras do not allow you to actually directly connect uh, XLR microphones which is why uh, in my rig here I end up attaching this really cool uh, mixer uh, it's from Saramonic and this mixer will actually allow you to connect two XLR uh, microphones here. You can put batteries in there and will actually also provide phantom power to those microphones. And you have here nice knobs here so you can properly adjust the audio uh, levels. And another really great thing about it is that you even have headphone uh, jack uh, output, meaning uh, if you're working, let's say, with the camera like this one, uh, or let's say the Sony A6300, which don't actually have any headphone jacks. And that means that now you can overcome that problem by plugging in your headphones here. So you can actually hear what audio it, it is that you're recording. There's already been a lot of great reviews of the Ceramonic Mixer. Uh, and when you watch those reviews, you'll see the one consistent thing is that everybody praises the amazing preamps uh, in this device. And I, I can say the same thing preamps on this are amazing they're actually better than many of the pro cameras that i've been using so this little device by attaching it here to the side of the cage and again you can configure it any way you want you can attach it to the handle to the right side uh, etc but you you know once you attach it like i said you have nice proper uh, connections you also have actually uh 3.5 millimeter uh, audio connections from uh, you know smaller for example microphones with uh, with a smaller jack so you can connect that too uh, and like I said, you will just take then the audio out cable, you plug it into the microphone cable on your camera, uh, and you're ready now to record proper pro uh, audio on your little DSLM uh, camera. Now, another thing I mentioned uh, that I don't like about uh, the Sony A6300 and many of the other similar cameras is the, uh, the battery life. Uh, to overcome that, uh, I decided to actually get this little adapter that will hold the Sony NPF uh, style ba batteries. There's different uh, size that you can get. These are nice big batteries that provide a lot of juice. Uh, so thanks to this, I can now power my camera using those nice big batteries, which basically just last a, a way, way longer uh, than the tiny little batteries that the camera accepts. Not only that, but because these are very common batteries, again, they're very affordable, easy to find. Uh, plus, 
uh, you'll find that most of these monitors out there or uh, for example the these portable little LED lights they all use the same type of battery so it's great because now I have basically I can just buy a set of these batteries and I know that these batteries are gonna work to power uh, my camera my monitor my light uh, and any other accessories so they're interchangeable and you just carry a pack of these batteries with you and you'll be good for a whole day uh, and to be able to send the power to, to this battery adapter plate Basically what I got is this little dummy battery that you plug in uh, to your camera and you can get that for various cameras. You can get it for the Sony cameras, you can get it let's say for the Panasonic GH4, GH5 type of cameras. Uh, so you can get those uh, and basically just pick the one that, that your camera uses and you just plug it into this uh, little DC cable that comes off of the battery plate and you're golden. So once you have this rig up here that I built then like I said you can kind of later on go and let's say with time just kind of build up on it add other accessories that maybe you for example will need in your uh, kind of shooting scenario like I said whether it's a nicer shoulder pad uh, maybe that light you know the microphone all that stuff you can add on slowly with time or maybe you already have it but definitely uh, using a rig like this uh, makes working with these tiny little cameras you know just a lot easier and a lot more comfortable because now I can actually properly rest it here on my shoulder I can get smoother uh, movement because I'm no longer directly holding the camera uh, I'm actually resting it up here and I'm let's say if I'm panning or tilting I'm actually moving my whole body it just means you're getting smoother uh, kind of more steadier motion another thing I really like is that now I have a nice big here monitor so as I'm shooting I can actually have uh, you know a proper screen to look at and I can see exactly what it is that I'm getting if my shots are unfocused that kind of stuff and even if I wanted to use this rig on a tripod again it's it's gonna work great because on the bottom here you see has a nice plate up here so you can attach it to your tripod no problem uh, and you can quickly switch between a tripod setup and a shoulder rig so hopefully you guys liked this video if you did make sure you smash that like button uh, and subscribe if you haven't already uh, also check out some of the other videos i have uh, where i've reviewed other camera gear or you know done some filmmaking tutorials you can also find all of that and more on my website which is tomantosfilms.com uh, and that's it for this one uh, let me know guys in the comment section below uh, you know what you like what you didn't like about this video maybe what other type of videos you'd like to see uh, again my name is Tom Antos and I'll see you guys next time bye